So you might be looking at buying an iPad and you might be trying to figure out whether you're trying to buy a cellular model of the iPad or just the standard Wi-Fi model. Now, what are the differences here? So there are a few different things to remember. And the basic way to kind of think about it is that with the iPad, with the standard Wi-Fi baseline that you have, you have to remember that this is a Wi-Fi iPad. You can still do everything you'd ever want on an iPad, but anything that would require an internet, an internet connection, you would have to be in, you know, an area with Wi-Fi. So the best way to think about this is like a laptop. If you have a laptop or a MacBook, you either have a few other options. You can either go and, you know, connect to a Wi-Fi connection around you, or what you can do, you have a few options. You can either go through and connect to some sort of, you know, cellular connection that you have, like a hotspot from your device, or you can go to like McDonald's or you can go to your house and connect to the Wi-Fi there, Starbucks. So you have a few different options there. With a Wi-Fi plus cellular version of an iPad, you have a few different options. You have way more options available. So not only do you have those standard ways you can connect to, you know, an internet connection like you can on a laptop, hotspot, Wi-Fi connection, whatever, you also have the option of connecting a cellular plan to your specific iPad. So what does this look like? Well, essentially what you can do is you can go ahead and add a line or add a plan from your cellular carrier that you have now. Everyone pretty much has one at this point. You can add it to your parents' plan, whatever, however it works. You will probably have to call them you know, to figure it out, but you will be able to get Wi-Fi and cell connection to that device. So I would say pretty much every single person watching this doesn't really need a cellular iPad at all. I would say you will be perfectly fine just like how I am perfectly fine connecting to Wi-Fi. I'm always surrounded by Wi-Fi. And if I'm not, well, usually I'm in a car and I can just go on my phone that already that already has a cell plan. And I can even hotspot and tether it to my iPad. With something like the iPad with Wi-Fi plus cellular, this is really the only, like I would say if it's for your job or for your work, then maybe it would make a little bit more sense. Some cases of this I've seen before, you know, if you're using an iPad and, you know, you're doing something that's super critical, like you need an iPad OS application that needs some sort of set of plan, and you're maybe like in the middle of nowhere most of the time and you're not around Wi-Fi, but you still need to use your iPad. Well, things like that can end up working. I've seen a lot of examples where people will be like in the middle of like a middle of nowhere and they're like in their building and there's like no Wi-Fi and they have to like be outside and looking at antennas and stuff. Well, in that case, maybe a cellular iPad makes sense. But like I said, if you're not in that case, then a Wi-Fi iPad is going to be perfectly fine as well. Now, there's another big difference here. If you want the option of using that cellular iPad, well, you have to spend a lot more money. It is, at least for the base iPad, the iPad 10 right now, it goes from $449 on that Wi-Fi iPad to the cellular one costing $599. That is a $150 difference just to get the cellular option. Personally, I don't think that is worth the extra money, at least for my use case. If we look at the iPad Pros, I'll probably be curious to see how much the difference is going to be here. But for the 128 gigabyte iPad Pro, the base model, it is $799 for the Wi-Fi model, but it is $200 more for the Wi-Fi plus cellular model. Now, like I said, I can laugh at that because personally, I would never need to use the cellular option. But if you were somebody who was going to plan on buying that cellular option, not only do you have to remember that you basically have to spend more money on that iPad, but you'll also probably have some sort of monthly fee associated with that iPad for that specific, you know, cellular option. Now, you don't have to use the cell option if you don't want to. You can always just buy it and not use it. It's good if you're in that specific situation for some reason, but you also do have to remember that you have to you know, spend more money on it and you also have to spend basically like a monthly fee to having that cell model. So at least from your carrier, there's no fee from Apple. It's just, you know, from your carrier, if you're planning on getting like internet connection or data connection or something. So that is a big, massive thing to keep in mind as well. So ultimately, what I would definitely tell you is, is that at least in my experience and from everything that I plan on doing everything every time in the future, I will probably never have to use any sort of cell iPad. I don't really plan on doing anything else crazy besides using cell service on my iPhone. And from that iPhone, I can go and tether it to my MacBook or my iPad and pretty much be good in that standpoint. But if you're somebody, like I said, who if you think to yourself like, hey, I am probably going to be in a ton of situations where I need to have cell service on my iPad. I, like I don't have the option to tether it for my phone. Like I don't have any other option. Like I need to have like cell service on my iPad for my job or for work or whatever. Well then, okay, maybe then you should buy the iPad with cell service. But like I said, for every single other person and from almost every person that I've ever seen own an iPad, they've always had the standard Wi-Fi model and none of them pretty much have ever used the cellular option on any of their iPads. In fact, there's cell service Apple Watches too. And from everyone that I've ever known, 
I've only known one person who even had that cell service, and I don't even think they use it anymore. So that kind of covers it up. Hopefully it breaks it down a little bit further for you. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.